Hello students, now today we are going to start the topic of 12th standard paper number 1 that is the third number topic that is the transducer now in this transducer here we have written the third number topic that is the transducer in this transducer first we will see how the introduction is going to be offered in this the quantity under the measurement in an instrumentation system is called as a measure, measurement of the information this information is of a various types either you will be getting the input value either you are getting the output value or either you are getting the signaling conditioning okay the primary sensing element is called as a sensor whatever the primary sensing element is there it is nothing but it is called as a sensor or the sensing element it senses the condition either that condition in which state it senses all the things and state the value of the measure and convert the energy from output of some type of the energy whatever may be the energy it is going to be get converted from the input to the output or from the different section is going to be get converted okay students the sensor are called as a primary transducer or you may say it is called as a detector okay whatever the sensor is being used for detecting it is nothing but it is called as a primary transducer or this primary transducer is also called as a detector okay apart from this primary transducer you have the secondary transducer also in this secondary transducer may be used to convert the output of the primary sensor to the another if one is going to be get converted from the input to the output then another transducer is going to be get converted from the output to the input so that's why the secondary transducer is very much important that converts the output of the primary sensor to the another uh, that another is nothing but it is either the input or uh, another device okay then we will say the major elements there are the different major elements of this transducer the first is very well known that is the input device and the next is the output device but apart from this input and the output device you have this signal conditioning or a processing device this signal conditioning or the processing device it is nothing but where the signals have been get generated and where you have to process the value is very much important for the major element in us this transducer okay students now we will see the classification this classification the device used to convert a non electrical quantity into the electrical signal whatever the non electrical quantity has been used it is converted to the non electrical quantity into an electrical signal okay the transducer used to convert the position displacement thermal and the optical signal into the electrical quantity that may be amplified or recorded and otherwise processed in the instrumentation system okay this much is the classification of that particular transducer whatever the device has to be get converted to that particular position why if the position is been specified then it is been get converted if you are recording the value and if it is a optical signal that converts all into the electric quantity and that may be amplified and recorded the amplification part and the recorded part is very much important in this particular transducer okay then comes the characteristics the characteristics in this transducer first small in size and weight it is a first characteristics second number the cost of this transducer is low it is a second then third number it is having the high sensitivity then fourth number it is a reliability reliable to each and every device where we are using this transducer it is very much reliable then the <coughs> measurement device then a linear relationship between the input and the output it is one of the most important part the linear relationship between the input and the output means whatever the input we are feeding at one center the linear relationship and the output value is to be get occurred and that's why this linear, linear relationship is very much important for this particular transducer okay then the electrical transducer is classified into the two types the first is the active transducer and second is the passive transducer now students 
the active transducer and the passive transducer these active transducer are of a self generating type okay active transducer are of a self generating type first is the active transducer it is a self generating type active transducer is self generating type they do not require the external power okay it is the main important function of this particular active transducer and the analog voltage which is produced which stimulated by some physical form of the energy and thermocouple piezoelectric pickup and the photovoltaic cell are the example of this particular active transducer okay here it does not require the external power it is a one most of the important sentence okay they do not require external power what are the different things the different thing in this active transducer it is a thermocouple the piezoelectric pickup coil and the photovoltaic cell these are all which stimulate some physical form the energy okay which are that particular thing thermocouple thermocouple first thing the first example of this particular active transducer second the photovoltaic cell photovoltaic cell and the third number that is a piezoelectric pickup coil or you may say that only the piezo electric pickup coil piezoelectric pickup okay so this are one of the examples of the active transducer the second is the passive transducer now opposite to that of the transducer which requires the external power it is the passive transducer second number passive passive transducer here in an active the self generating type but the passive requires the external power it requires external power okay students the due to that one they produces a variations in some electrical but in the active it does not produce any variation in a passive it requires a variation in our different electrical parameters such as the resistance and the capacitance etc what are the value is to be get assigned by the particular passive transducer where the resistance and where the capacitance is going to be changed due to that particular external power and it is going to be measured with a voltage or the current variations okay this passive transducer it measures the voltage and the current voltage or a current okay it absorbs some energy from some physical component under the study the example of this particular passive transducers are a thermistor okay examples are thermistor the second example that is a resistance strain loss because here the resistance and the capacitor is going to be get affected and that's why the example is the resistance strain loss or you may say that resistance strain loss the third number if it is a capacitance as we have studied means the capacitor microphone is one of the example of this passive transducer because it requires the external power okay it requires the external power due to that one the example is a capacitor transducer okay generally we will say the capacitor microphone or you may say directly the capacitor transducer here we will say the capacitor microphone capacitance microphone 
Apart from this capacitance microphone, you have a photoconductive cell. This photoconductive cell is also one of the example of a passive transducer. Now, when we are using this particular transducers, the active transducer and the passive transducer, one thing in your mind that how we are going to select the transducers. The selection is very much important. Whenever we are going outside, we are selecting something for us. In the same way, when we are selecting the transducer, how it should be. That is the main important thing in the transducer. Okay, so the selection is very much important. For selecting, you require selection of transducer. Selection of transducer. What is the main thing? The first main thing in this particular selection it requires a physical quantity second it requires the principle for measuring the quantity and third the accuracy what is the principle to be get measured okay it determines the range okay if anyone go to the shop you have planned to take one thing means you have pre-decided that you have to purchase that thing in the same way here if in the selection of the transducer the physical quantity is going to be measured. The first main part in this selection is the physical quantity. Physical quantity. The second number part which is going to be get selected by the transducer that is our principle that it measures the quantity. How it is going to be measured that particular value means the input and the output character checks either you are getting and you are compatible with that particular thing either it recording or it measures that particular thing in a proper in a specific way so the measuring is one of the important selection of a transducer okay the second thing measure the quantity measure the quantity the third number which is again very much important it either it is having the accuracy for whatever we have get purchased from the market so when we are using this particular transducer this transducer should be accurate means the accuracy is requirement for that particular measurement accuracy required for the measurement now when we talk about this particular accuracy the accuracy will be of either the individual factor which contributes the different of the accuracy and which is going to be get considered and the different factors now what are that particular factors in that particular accuracy so the very first it is the fundamental transducer parameters here in the accuracy you will get the different different parts okay the first part in this accuracy is the fundamental transducer parameter fundamental fundamental transducer parameter okay this is the first accuracy for the transducer okay then the in this particular type it measures the quantity under the particular measurement and in the sensitivity which gives you the fundamental transducer parameter second how the physical condition of that particular transducer means in the mechanical or the electrical to that particular corrosive resistance so the physical condition is going to be get offered with this so you write the physical condition okay then the third number how in a temperature or how ambiently it produces the value okay the either the non-linearity value which gives you the hysteresis and the vibration which is offered in the different parts okay so the ambition condition is also one of the accuracy ambition condition okay then comes the different in different different environment either it is working in a proper way 
or not either it affects the temperature or either it gives you the different shafts of that particular vibrations value okay so the environmental condition will give you the accuracy of that particular transducer then either it is compatible with the associated equipment whatever the equipment we are using when we use that transducer either it is compatible with that particular instrument is a one of the selection okay when it is properly balanced means a zero balancing is to be get provided it should give the impedance matching also it will give the resistance values so that it should be get balanced to that particular equipment wherever we are using the transducer so in an associated equipment the transducer will should work properly so these are particular selection of the transducer where we are using the transducer it should be given a proper value okay then there are the different reductions the total measurement which is being under the activity of the particular system okay how that using the physical measurement <coughs> we will use either the artificially controlled transducer or we are just monitoring the transducer or we are just calibrating for correction and performance okay then the different types of transducer and the principles which is going to be studied by you that is the first number as we have studied that is the active transducer and second it is the passive transducer in an active transducer as i told you it is a self generating transducer this self generating transducer the first number it is a thermocouple the second number it is a piezoelectric pickup and the applications which is used for the piezoelectric it is a conversion of a sound the displacement or a pressure changes so these are one type of the application of the piezoelectric pickup the second number which is being get occurred in a transducer that is a passive transducer this passive transducer is nothing but it requires an external power okay so this passive transducer is the classified into the first part that is a resistance transducer okay then the second it is a capacitive transducer so coming to that particular resistance transducer so the first it is a resistance strain gauge second it is a thermistor and third it is a hot wire meter when we are talking about the resistance strain gauge it means the wire which is been elongated by that particular comparison due to that the external applied source the second number that is a thermistor the resistance of the certain metallic oxide with a negative temperature coefficient of a resistance varies with a temperature okay so the application which is used that is a com conversion of a temperature when we are using the third number in a resistance transducer it is a pirani gauge or a hot wire meter the resistance of that particular heating element changes with the correction to that particular stream of a gases the application where the pirani gauge wire is been used it is a gas or a gas pressure measurement okay generally it is used for the gas pressure measurement okay so these are one particular formation and the different type of the transducer and the uh, principle of the operations okay when we are using the capacitor transducer the capacitor transducer first it is a capacitor microphone second it is the variable capacitor special gauge toro one char the types of transducer as i told you previously also the types of transducer first is the active transducer and second is the passive transducer in this active transducer it is been classified into two type that is a thermocouple and the piezoelectric pickup the thermocouple the application it conversion of a temperature then in a piezoelectric the application which is used for this piezoelectric pickup it is a sound displacement or the displacement or the pressure changes then this passive transducer has been classified into resistance transducer capacitor transducer inductance transducer and voltage or the current transducer the resistance transducer is classified again into the three type that is the resistance strain gauge the thermistor and the pirani gauge or the hot wire meter 
Capacitor transducer is classified into the capacitor microphone and the variable capacitor special rods. The inductor transducer has been classified into the LVDT and voltage and the current it remains as it is. Okay, so I told you about the thermocouple, piezoelectric, resistance, strain gauze, capacitor strain gauze. Now the inductor strain gauze, the inductor transducer, that is, is nothing but it is a linear variable differential transducer. Means LVDT. This LVDT, the voltage with the secondary winding of a transformer is changed by the position of the magnetic core in between. Suppose this is one type of the LVDT. In between, there is a one rod. In this rod, if we are pressure to the up and down, means it changes to that particular position inside the rod is going to be get slotted. And again, we are making the position outside. Okay, in between there is a one rod. It is get surrounded. Okay, the magnetic core to that particular external applied force. The application which is used for the pressure measurement or a displacement because we are applying some particular pressure for forcing the rod to be get uh, in and just the pressure we are taking outside due to that what the displacement is going to be offered or you may say the application is the displacement the second but the least last the voltage and the current transducer this voltage and the current transducer the photo emissive cell is being used in this particular voltage and the current transducer the electrons which are emitted by the radiations of a photoelectric surface the application which is used for this particular voltage and the current it is nothing but it is used for the conversion of a light okay so these are the different types of the transducer which we have to study in this topic the detailed study we will start here and the very first we are going to start the working of a transducer that is a temperature transducer okay the example which is being allotted by this topic it is a thermistor thermocouple and the resistance thermometer so these are the three parts which is involved in this particular temperature transducer. Okay, this thermistor or the, the two types of the thermistors which is available that is the NTC and the PTC. The NTC is nothing but it is a negative temperature thermistor and PTC it is nothing but the positive temperature thermistor. The application which is used, here I will show you the, how the thermistor look like look like it is having one particular temperature range okay it is having one particular resistance in that specific resistance it is going to be get work you have the applications of the thermistor the first application it is used for measuring the temperature as it consists of the NTC and the PTC okay the second it is used for the thermal conductivity means it measures the thermal conductivity the third number it measures the flow and the pressure of the liquid okay so these are one type of the application of that particular thermistor now we will see sir okay the working of transducer the first part which is included in this transducer that is a temperature transducer this temperature transducer the example the first example that is a thermistor second thermocouple and third number that is a resistance thermocouple okay so in a temperature transducer the example which is involved that is a thermistor thermocouple and the resistance thermocouple so very first that is a thermistor the 
this thermistor is an ideal temperature transducer okay thermistor it is an ideal temperature transducer with this particular thermistor okay now in this thermistor if we see if we observe this thermistor it will look like this something it will look like this and this of the thermistor which has been shown by me these are the leads these are the leads and this is the glass coating this is the glass coating and this type of thermistor is called as a braid thermistor or a bed type thermistor okay the second type of the thermistor the second type of the thermistor which you will be observing it is like this it is a circular means it is a disc type you may say from here the two leads has been taken out it is a lead it is a lead means as it is a circular since it is a disc type okay the another thermistor which will be look like this one as it is looking as a one straight line and like this and here you will be observing the portion like this okay so from this you yourself will be get understood that it is looking as a rod since it is the rod type so these are the three types of the thermistor which is available okay now the symbol we will see the symbol of the thermistor symbol of thermistor here it is having the symbol like this the resistance we will draw here the circle and in between we will write here t so this is the symbolical representation of the thermistor okay as the resistance is involved and the circular part means it is a semiconductor well okay it is a semiconductor it is a semiconductor with a high usually negative temperature coefficient or the positive temperature coefficient okay negative temperature coefficient or the positive temperature coefficient in some cases the resistance of the thermistor may decreases up to 1% that is a 1 degree in the temperature the temperature may decrease to the 1 degree okay to the high sensitivity to that of the high sensitivity since it is used for the precision temperature it is used in precision temperature okay also it is used for control and compensation control and compensation okay students so here the thermistor it is an ideal temp transducer the semiconductor with a high usually ntc and the ptc we are using the temperature it will be get decreases to the 1 degree centigrade 
to the high sensitivity it is used in the precision temperature or thermistor the control and the compensation okay here we are going to observe the three that is a type that is a bead type disc type and the rod type this when the thermistors the thermistors are made of a synthesized mixture okay it is made of the mixer it is made of mixer which mixer is this it is a metallic oxide such as cobalt nickel and manganese etc so by using this particular thing this thermistor has been built up okay there are three types of thermistor which we have observed when we study the characteristics means the resistance with that particular temperature we will be observing the resistance temperature characteristics of thermistor okay here it has been specified like this the temperature we will be taking for the x axis and the specific resistance which is been used it is observed in the y axis it is always in a ohms that is in a centimeter so here you will be getting the characteristics like this okay certain from starting from the 0 to minus 100 then it rises then 100 200 300 and 400 likewise it will get decreases and due to decrease in that it will either the value will be get increase or either it will be get decrease the resistance which is being specified that is a uh, 10 to the power minus 6 10 to the power minus 4 10 to the power minus 2 then 1 10 to the power 2 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 4 these are all the specific resistances which is used in the x in the y axis and in the temperature we are getting the x axis certain the value will be get increases or decreases it shows the characteristics with a very high negative temperature coefficient of the resistance okay it is nothing but it is a negative temperature coefficient resistance characteristics now we have the applications the applications which is involved in the thermistor that is application of thermistor the first application it is used for measurement or measuring of a temperature measurement of temperature okay this is the first application then the second application it is used for measurement of the thermal conductivity then the third number application it is used for the flow and the pressure of the liquid it is used for flow and pressure of liquid okay so these are the applications the next that is a pressure transducer this pressure transducer is nothing but it is also one of the temperature transducer okay the various example which is involved in this particular pressure transducer it is a piezoelectric pickup second number it is lvdt the third number it is a strain gauze okay students the pressure transducer 
piezoelectric pickup LVDT and the strain gauss this LVDT is nothing but it is a linear variable differential transformer okay so the very first as this it is a piezoelectric pickup hmm. means it is a active transducer active transducer okay it is having the photoelectric effect also the second number which is called as a LVDT this LVDT is nothing but it is a linear variable differential transformer or you may say that it is a transducer okay linear variable differential transformer transformer okay it is used for the pressure or the displacement transducer when anything is going to be get applied suppose here in case this is the transducer LVDT transducer okay this is the LVDT transducer and at one particular instant it is the core at this particular thing okay and suppose we have moved the core to this position means in the left position we will take out the core like this okay core at a position this is of a zero position and if we have moved the core to the right side like this then the displacement is going to be get occurred and that displacement we are going to measure like this it is it will look and it will measure the value a here it will measure the value b the phase of that particular coil phase of coil number two okay here it measures the output voltage with a phase of coil number one output voltage with phase of coil number one and here we are obtaining the output voltage so this LVDT it measures and it gives you the output value like this okay in the x-axis we are going to me measure the core that is a position also what is the position of this core either the a side or either the this one is the b side which we will be measuring and here the zero position at a null position we are going to apply this one okay so it measures the elevability it consisting of the primary winding and the secondary winding here this elevability we will see in a detail 